Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. It's cold. And uh, a thought came to my mind. A what if thought. Everybody reach in your cubby hole and pull out your tinfoil hat and put it on. Uh, my grandfather told me something years ago. And he served in Korea. And he came back a little shell-shocked. Uh, quite a bit of shell-shocked, let me correct that. And uh, he would say all these things that made the family think he was just off the charts, you know, as far as cray-cray is concerned. But it wasn't that. My grandfather had seen and lived through a lot of traumatic experiences that forced him to look at things for what they really were. And one of the things that my grandfather shared with me was to invest in water. That water would become more precious than gold or oil. And my grandpa was an oil field man. He'd been all over the world drilling holes and pumping oil and just pushing tools for, for these major oil companies. I mean, he was all over the place in, in the oil field. And he said water would become more precious than even oil or gold and to invest in it. So I've thought about that over the years, and I've seen to where, you know, people went from getting their drinking water out of the tap to... It being bottled in glass jugs, which everything that's in plastic used to be in glass, for those who don't know. And uh, from glass containers to plastic containers, and now everybody drinks bottled water. Even though most of it is from the tap of your local aquifer and things like that, unless you buy something, you know, exotic. But um, I was watching some videos this morning. And the uh, World Economic Forum came on, and they were talking about the future of water and how to control it for the climate and how it's going to be used and utilized and controlled. So, tinfoil hat, not only will they control the food, but they'll control the water supply. What if, here we go again, you don't do what you're supposed to do, and so you get no water. Your tap is turned off. Your accessibility to natural water supplies is cut off. What do you do? You can dig a well, but if you don't comply... How will that work? So just a little food for thought. You know, God help us all. So I'm going to post a link. And they're going to outline to you in this link exactly what they're going to do with the water supply. By 2031. Pay attention. It's coming, it's coming quick, and it's going to come hard. And it's going to take us all for a spin. Think about it. Your water's controlled. Compliancy medications may be put into the water supply if you depend upon other people to get you your water that you need to drink every day. Y'all have a blessed day. This is Bug Out on an adventure commentary. You know, ciao, baby.